from hero to zero. It's a normal football game with the Buffalo Bills and O.J. Simpson just scored a touchdown. How amazing! O.J. Simpson, a very well-known football player with a very, very interesting history. He was an American football player playing on a football team. He ran over 250 yards in a game twice. He was accepted to the Pro Hall of Fame in 1985. Simpson chose to attend the University of Southern California, which he admired as a young child and football player, and played running back for head coach John McKay in 1967 and 1968. Simpson led the nation in rushing both years under McKay with 1,543 yards and 13 touchdowns. In that year's victory bell rivalry game between the teams, USC was down by six points in the fourth quarter with under 11 minutes remaining. On their own 36, USC back and quarterback Toby Page called an audible on third and seven. Simpson's 64 yard touchdown run tied the score and the extra point provided a 21 to 20 lead which was the final This was score. the biggest play and it is regarded as one of the greatest football games of the 20th century. Nicole Brown Simpson was born on May 19, 1959 in Frankfurt, Germany. Nicole met Simpson in 1977 when she was 18 years old and, and working as a waitress at a Beverly Hills Club. Ron was born on July 2nd, 1968 in Buffalo Grove, Illinois actually half an hour away from here. He moved to California and went to Pierce College. Then he met Nicole. Ron and Nicole met six weeks before they were killed. He borrowed her Ferrari. They grew very close, going with one another to dance clubs and meeting for coffee the month before they died. Some may say that their love was platonic. In the morning of June 13, 1994, Nicole Brown was found outside of her apartment stabbed to death. Nicole, along with her friend Ron Goldman, were lying down in a pile of blood. They were stabbed 11 times in the O.J. Simpson was later accused of two murder cases, which were about his wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron Goldman. You guessed it, they were mysteriously murdered. They hired Rob Kardashian to be his lawyer. Rob Kardashian, in fact, played a very interesting role in O.J. Simpson's case. His case was one of the most publicized cases in history. He was defended by a very good team of lawyers, in which Robert Kardashian was included, and five others. Deputy District Attorneys Marsha Clark and her superdaughter believed they had a strong case against OJ, and they were able to convince. The jury believed that there was a doubt in the DNA evidence provided by the state. The reasonable doubt theory included evidence that the blood sample had allegedly been mishandled by the lab. Simpson's celebrity status, racial issues, and lengthy televised trial soon attracted national attention. By the end of the trial, tests showed major differences in the survey of whether Simpson was guilty or innocent between Americans. A vote of the Los Angeles County showed that most African Americans there felt that the court had been unfair by the conclusion of the innocence. After the trial, the Brown and Goldman families filed lawsuits against O.J. Simpson on February 4th, 1997. The jury agreed and found Simpson responsible for both deaths, and the families were rewarded. According to the Denver Post in September 2007, Simpson, accompanied by five men, confronts two sports memorabilia dealers in a Las Vegas hotel room, angrily telling them that most of the memorabilia they are planning to sell is rightfully his. October 3, 2008, a jury finds Simpson and co-defendant Clarence C.J. Stewart guilty of kidnapping, armed robbery, assault with a deadly weapon, burglary, and conspiracy charges. The other accomplices had taken plea deals and received probation. In December 2008, Simpson is sentenced to 9 to 33 years and sent to Lovelock Correctional Center in Northern Nevada. Provided by the state. The reasonable doubt period. 
He is so easy. What the heck was Wait, that? What? Los Angeles County showed that most Africans there felt that the stop. <laughs> <laughs> a vote. A vote at the Los Angeles County showed that most African Americans. <laughs> Here, Anna. I'm the grip. Wait, you started recording already? You're supposed to. Six, seven, eight. We did it. Ah! Oh, no. How do you say the elevator music? In what? Elevator music? I don't know how to sing it. Love it and now. No, you're actually fine. Yeah. Love it and now. Love it. That's that really cheesy. Uh, yeah. Uh, just close music. in on Brock's face right there. Zoom in on Brock's face. You're a double point. Zoom in on Brock's face. Baby. My name is Brocky Shavari. I have a Ferrari. If you crash it, you'll be sorry. I bought it off a of safari.